Hi, my name is Anna Oliveira. I'm a researcher and assistant professor at the Faculty of Biotechnology, uh, Portuguese Catholic University, Porto, uh, and I'm the head of Biomaterials Group. Among other uh, projects, we have been dedicated uh, to the development of a nitrogel wound healing uh, material that uh, is developed from a new protein, silk protein, uh, which is called sericin, and can be applied in the treatment of chronic wounds. It can fill them uh, in all its form and volume. So these wounds are very difficult to heal, which represents a challenge for clinical staff and it causes a huge impact to the quality of life of uh, patients. When we compare it to other hydrogels, one of the main innovations is that besides being natural and biocompatible, it can have a fast gelling capacity in the wound and uh, it's about two minutes, which contributes to an easy feeling of the defect and it transforms itself in a very uniform dressing, transparent and with enough elasticity to be adapt to the body movements. If needed, it can also accommodate the possibility to incorporate therapeutic agents or ph pharmacological agents for a better uh, treatment efficacy. So originally this protein uh, is uh, um, a waste from the textile industry. So one of the interesting points of this, about this project is that we have the possibility to transform uh, a waste product into an added value uh, product for the biomedical area. So we believe that this product can be adapted to other uses um, because sericin has been largely commercialized in the, air, in the cosmetic area given its antioxidant and hydrating uh, capacities and also um, properties that are uh, being described in the literature as anti-tumoral. After the development of this hydrogel, which is uh, presently in uh, its patenting phase, international patent, um, we are going to uh, perform advanced in vitro cell culture studies and also in vivo studies with uh, wound uh, models, uh, animal wound models. So our team has already a collaboration established for this purpose with the Institute uh, for uh, research and innovation in health, I3S in Porto.